The ANU turbine combines the best features of traditional propeller turbines and vertical axis turbines to increase efficiency. The design was carefully considered to integrate the advantages of both types of wind turbines into a single body. The resulting turbine has four horizontally arranged blades, each with two additional vertical blades, creating a hybrid design. The device has a height of 217 feet and a rotor diameter of 171 feet. Thanks to this hybrid design, the turbine eliminates reduced power generation. ANU's wind turbine has a capacity of 1,500 kilowatts, significantly more than its analogs. Additionally, the turbine's vertical axis design offers advantages such as quiet operation and the ability to catch wind from any direction. The previously mentioned wind turbines are an efficient means of extracting free energy, but they are not permanent and are difficult to store. However, there is a great solution. Storing energy in special bags that sit underwater. This method is more economical than batteries, thermal plants, and pumped hydro. But how is this possible? Putting energy in a bag may sound like something out of science fiction, but it is purely physics. The bags are placed at a greater depth, eliminating the need for manual pressurization to store compressed air. In other words, the depth does the work for the operator. The utilization of the bags is as follows. Excess energy in the grid powers the electric motor, which drives the compressor. The compressed air is then cooled and stored at a pressure of 870 to 1015 pounds per square inch. When electricity is required, it is extracted from the bag, heated, and then supplied to a modified gas turbine. The energy is subsequently converted by an electric generator and fed back into the grid. In the long term, these bags could be the most cost-effective method of storing wind energy that currently exists. Free wind energy can be extracted not only with wind turbines, but also with a kite-like flying machine. This method is more efficient, economical, and environmentally friendly. A device resembling a mast is attached to a truck, and a kite is attached to it. The device unwinds the kite and launches it to a height of 656 to 984 feet. While flying downwind, it pulls cables from the drums on the earth station, which are then converted into electricity by a generator. Once the cable length is insufficient, the kite flies back and the cycle repeats. Notably, the kite uses H-shaped trajectories, increasing efficiency. This is the most advanced version of the Enerkite system. The system from Enerkite can generate up to 2 megawatts of energy with high efficiency due to its aerodynamic design that eliminates unnecessary devices and parts. This approach ensures cost-effectiveness and environmental safety as no additional construction or maintenance is required for energy extraction. This sets it apart from wind turbines, which require the use of various materials in their construction. This demonstrates that a system for extracting free energy with a kite can be easily made at home. By the way, it is incredibly simple and effective to extract energy using a kite. The wind turbine from Hydro Wind Energy is an efficient, and self-sufficient invention that collects and stores free wind energy using the Ocean Hydro Omni Rotor. It is worth noting that the rotor is vertical axis, in line with current trends. The flood wind turbine has a rated capacity of 1 megawatt. Depending on wind speeds ranging from approximately 13 to 131 feet per second, the installation can produce between 2 and 14 megawatt hours per day. This performance exceeds that of many similar wind turbines. What sets Ocean Hydro Omni apart from traditional wind turbines is its ability to store energy independently. This is achieved in a unique way. The air is compressed and transferred to a specialized vessel. 
which is then lowered to a depth of approximately 328 to 1,640 feet. The water pressure at that depth keeps the air compressed. When energy is needed, it is drawn from the vessel. A single cycle can store up to 70 kilowatt hours inside the storage vessel. The charge cycle can range from 21 to 189 kilowatt hours per day. Aspect Solar has invented a mobile camping panel that contradicts the belief that sun tracking technology is only for large solar panels. The sun socket, weighing only approximately 25 pounds, is a sleek and stylish case that efficiently harnesses the power of the sun. It is designed for easy portability and is perfect for outdoor activities. Upon opening, the device may resemble a camping stove, but it is much more than that. The solar panel has the ability to expand up to approximately 45 inches, ultimately transforming into a 60-watt solar energy extraction device. This energy is then stored in a 20-ampere-hour lithium battery. Simultaneously, the battery can remain in standby mode for years, discharging a maximum of 2% per month. Upon activation, the panel automatically orients itself towards the sun resulting in a significant performance boost that fully charges the battery in just five hours. With sufficient sunlight, the battery can power not only electronic devices, but also charge phones, tablets, and other gadgets. Although various companies have developed innovative and impressive designs for their wave energy converters, the Waveswing device stands out not for its appearance, but for its efficiency. The device is a simple buoy, measuring approximately 23 feet in height, 13 feet in diameter, and weighing 50 short tons, which is submerged to a depth of more than 82 feet. The buoy can be installed within 12 hours, which is significantly faster than other wave energy converters. Once installed, the buoy's efficiency is revealed. A single unit can be configured to produce between 15 and 500 kilowatts of power. Additionally, wave swing units can be combined into multi-sectional structures with a capacity of up to 10 megawatts. The wave swing is virtually maintenance-free due to its underwater location, which protects it from destructive storms on the sea surface. The buoy is maintenance-free because it has a simple hydraulic motor that generates power by converting forward motion into rotary motion, which then spins the generator. The wave swing is an ideal choice for companies looking to save on electricity and asset maintenance. Connecting the sea with profitable energy extraction is a challenge, but Weptos has developed an invention that achieves a new level of efficiency in wave energy conversion. The Weptos Wave Energy Converter is a floating structure consisting of two frames that support a large number of rotors. These rotors move under the action of the waves, driving an axle that is connected to an independent power takeoff system. This system essentially consists of electric motors that generate electricity. The Weptos system is adaptive, which increases its interaction with normal waves and reduces its interaction with waves of excessive power. In other words, the system collects more energy from normal waves and sustains less damage from powerful waves. The invention's simple and modular design allows for faster and cheaper production compared to its analogs. This, combined with the energy conversion technology and adaptive, easy-to-manufacture design, results in a device from Weptos with 60% efficiency and a cost of electricity generation of 30 euros per megawatt per hour. This cost is significantly lower than that of similar devices.
Installing wave generators can be challenging, but EcoWave Power offers a solution that overcomes these difficulties. By installing the generators on the shore, EcoWave Power provides a more cost-effective and efficient solution for wave power generation. The company's devices are installed on the shore, which is an unconventional location for traditional wave power generators. This approach eliminates the costs associated with delivering the generator by water. Secondly, onshore units are easier to maintain. Thirdly, onshore installation is safer because waves on the open sea can damage the unit. EcoWave power systems operate as follows. Waves move the floats, which compress and unclamp hydraulic pistons. These pistons transfer biodegradable liquid to accumulators on land, creating pressure that drives a hydraulic motor and generator. The generator transmits electricity to the grid via an inverter. The system is fully automated and adapts to current conditions. For instance, in the event of a storm causing high wave heights that exceed the device's capacity, they will be automatically raised and kept in that position. Once the storm subsides, the floats will stabilize and return to their regular operating mode. The use of solar panels to extract solar energy is evolving with new applications. Scania, for instance, has equipped its truck with solar panels covering the entire 59-foot trailer, including the sides. This innovative approach was necessary since conventional panels are not suitable for a constantly moving vehicle. Scania had to develop new variants from scratch. The result is a lighter and more efficient panel that can withstand transportation stresses. Compared to traditional panels, the scanner's devices are also more efficient, producing 8,000 kilowatt hours of energy annually. This efficiency is taken into account by the company, considering the vehicle's movement across Sweden and its exposure to sunnier places. A truck can produce a significant amount of free energy, which it can use for movement or storage. The inspiration for this idea likely came from craftsmen who have been converting their vehicles into mobile solar farms for some time. Inspiration from nature is what led to the creation of amazing projects like Ocean Sun's aquatic solar farms. The company drew inspiration from water lilies, which move synchronously with the water, making them impervious to waves. Ocean Sun's trusses have an innovative design that makes solar panels just as flexible on water. The system comprises photovoltaic modules situated on floating membranes inside buoyancy rings fixed to the seabed. The panels feature a monocrystalline silicon module with double glass and additional protection against water pressure. The floating membrane provides a strong and flexible base for the solar panels, enabling them to withstand almost all conditions on the water. It can withstand even the strongest sea disturbances, including typhoons of the fourth class with wind speeds of up to 168 miles per hour. The capacity of floating farms varies. For example, the OUS-75 farm has a diameter of 75 yards and a capacity of 650 kilowatt hours, while the OUS-50 has a diameter of 50 yards and a capacity of 280 kilowatt hours. Waveswell Energy drew inspiration from this natural phenomenon to create their invention. This invention is inspired by nature, specifically a blowhole. A blowhole is a hole in the Earth's surface that leads to underground voids or connects to a body of water. If the blowhole is located on the shore, then under certain conditions, a fountain of water bursts out of the hole due to the difference in pressure. This is how the UniWave works. It is a large unit with a concrete base and a hollow center chamber. Water enters the chamber and rises and falls, causing air to flow through the turbine and spin it. This is how electricity is generated. 
After extensive testing over a year, the plant showed a power output of 200 kilowatts with 50% efficiency. The plant surpasses solar panels, which have an efficiency of 15 to 20 percent and are comparable to wind turbines. This device generates wave energy by being installed on the shore at a suitable location and moving up and down due to the action of the waves. The principle of operation is straightforward. A 10-yard long rod with a float moves up and down, activating the generators attached to the top, which produce electricity. The device has a rated power of 36 kilowatts. The device has an intelligent system that maximizes power generation in different climates. Its simplicity is complemented by elementary manufacturing, which saves on electricity, maintenance, and production. All components are mass-produced and standardized. Here is a dream invention for all free energy enthusiasts. Once assembled, it is a container measuring 6 yards in length, 2.4 yards in width, and 2.9 yards in height. It is inconspicuous and easy to transport. However, when it arrives at the desired location, something amazing happens. After some manipulation, a frame with an elaborate rail system is laid out on the surface. The solar panels move out one by one along the laid out road, forming a small solar farm that is 120 yards long. The completed farm comprises 240 photovoltaic modules, occupying 720 square yards of space. The installation process takes less than five hours, resulting in a farm that generates up to 140 kilowatts of power. This capacity can provide electricity for up to 50 households with average consumption. The container's high power and mobility make it a valuable emergency source of electricity. This feature is particularly useful in areas affected by natural disasters or other events that cause power outages. Additionally, the container can be used in remote settlements where connecting to the power grid is too expensive. A solar farm in Qatar, covering an area of 10 square miles, was built over the course of a year. The use of solar containers could potentially expedite this process.